Good morning. The last Friday of 2023, we're headed to a new year. I got a call last night. Didn't didn't get the message till this morning that a dear friend of mine, Sherry, has passed away. She was actually a, a member of a church I pastored a few years ago, a sweet, godly woman. And it got me to thinking about what the book of Ecclesiastes says. I'm going to read it from chapter 3, and it says, For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time of hate. A time for war and a time for peace. As we head into 24, uh, take an inventory of your life. See where you are. Life is so fast and so fleeting. When you're younger, it seems like you'll never die. When you're younger, it seems like you'll never be old. And then one day you wake up and you're old. And time just passes by. So as we head into 24, how about making some goals that will help you in your relationship with God for the next year? How about making time for Bible study, private Bible study, Bible reading, Bible devotion, whatever you want to call it. How about making time for prayer? And when I say pray, I just don't mean talk. How about listening to God? How about making time to encourage someone? We talked Wednesday night at church about how people all around us need encouraging. They need a smile. They need a kind word. They need to know that somebody cares. How about making time for family? How about getting your priorities straight in 24? I'm kind of like David. I've, I've been young and now I'm old. And you look at things different when you have a few years on you. The things that were important when you were young doesn't seem to be that important anymore. And you know why? It's because our priorities are wrong. Things that are always important is your relationship with God and your family and love that you have for each other. Those are always important. Things that are not important is your status in life. How much money you have in the bank account, what kind of car you drive, what kind of house you live in. All these things are, are fleeting. Being a real estate broker, I see it just about every week, someone who has worked their whole life for a nice house, and they fixed it up just like they like it, and now they have gone on to eternity. A lot of times their kids and their family don't want their stuff that they had. They, they don't want even the house. So something that meant so much to these people now doesn't mean anything to anybody else. But you know what does matter and what they do remember is the love that they had for each other, the time that they spent together. Our family had a wonderful Christmas. We laughed and we played games and we exchanged gifts and we picked on each other and we ate and we praised God and thanked Him for the many, many blessings. And listen, as we head into 24, get your priorities right. Get what's important out front and keep it in front of you for this whole year. As you're making plans for 24, make plans to include God. Make plans for your relationship with God to be better in 24 than it was in 23. And you know what's going to happen? You'll be amazed at what will happen. You will see things that you've never seen before. But the only way for your relationship with God to be closer in 24 than it was in 23 is for you to make the move. God is sitting there waiting. He has his arms outstretched. He is waiting for you to say, God, I want more of you and less of me. 
I want you to have a great New Year's and be safe. I'd like to invite you to the little church by the road. God is doing an amazing thing at our little church. We can't take the credit. We have to give all the glory to God. We're seeing people's lives changed. We're seeing souls saved. We're seeing people get closer to God. We're seeing people feel connected and feel love and feel a part of something that they've never felt before. Yeah, and if that's what you're looking for, give us a try. You can find us right on Highway 72 in Center Star, right past the little log convenience store named Cousins, right past County Road 31, where on the left we have a flashing sign. And certainly if we can pray for you or help you in any way, please contact us. We have, of course, email. We're on Facebook. Uh, we're on YouTube. We have our own website. And, of course, you can write us at P.O. Box 3, Killing, Alabama. You can text me. You can call me. My phone number is plastered all over the Internet. So if we can help in any way, please reach out to us. Stay safe this New Year's. And I pray that 24 will be a better year for you and your relationship with God and also a better year for you physically. In Christ's name, you have a blessed, blessed new year.